as LGBT, we fight wars every day with, within ourselves and within other people. When I came to this organization, I didn't have people in my life to tell me that I was, it was okay to be who I am. It gives me a place to come, to keep warm. I can speak to people about my problems. I have a place where sometimes I can just cry and no one's gonna judge me. My name is Tanaja Jordan and I'm a member of the board of directors for the Hetrick Martin Institute. I'm dedicated to the extraordinary mission and vision of this organization because this organization helped me change my life when I was 17 years old. More than 2,500 youth from over 350 zip codes across our nation came through these elevator doors last year. Like myself, they were seeking a safe space and a community of support. I came to HMI because I was at the end of my rope. My parents were clear that they weren't going to accept or tolerate a lesbian daughter, and I couldn't stay where I wasn't welcome. I remember the first time I came to HMI. I had walked down from 72nd Street to Two Astor Place because I didn't know the city very well and had gotten here very early before there were any staff or youth present. I remember being greeted when the staff came by Lori Zay, who was then the Director of Supportive Services. It was her job to do a comprehensive intake and mental health screening on me to see what were the things that I needed and how, we could, how the organization could help me meet those needs. But more than assessing me and, and seeing what my issues were, Lori sat and talked to me and listened to me and understood me. And it was her understanding that helped me change my life. HMI's job readiness and career exploration programs provide young people with the skills they need to get jobs and transition from jobs to careers. HMI's internship programs put me on the career path that I'm on today. By participating in peer education, linking lives in the Youth Advisory Board, I developed the work ethic and commitment to social justice that still guide me today. I came to HMI in the beginning of my senior year of high school. I didn't want to go back to school in my home borough because I was afraid of what people would think about me not living with my family anymore. But HMI gave me a supportive place to complete my high school education. I'm proud to report that I recently graduated from college in February 2012 with a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies and hope to pursue a master's in public administration. I take my role in HMI's board of directors very seriously because I know firsthand what's at stake.